We're going to start with the heart. The heart is the emperor of the body, right? The heart as the emperor means it's the intermediary between heaven and earth. That's why the emperor lived in the, the, um, the forbidden palace. You can't go directly to the emperor. The emperor's not on earth. The emperor is, is what mediates between us on earth and the gods in heaven. So we go to the minister instead. And the minister helps us. Oh, I hope this is not going to interfere. I'll put this behind me. The, the minister is who um, helps us talk with the emperor. So if, we, if you think about the emperor having that connection between earth and heaven, what resides in the heart with the emperor? The shen. The shen. Exactly. The spirits. OK? And the shen rules what? The mind. The mind and sleep. Sleep. So what is the emotion of the heart? Joy. How can joy be? OK, so joy, what's imbalanced, the imbalanced emotion of the heart? And how would that appear? How can you have excess joy, right? How would that appear? I'm sorry? Inappropriate? Exactly. Inappropriate expression. So somebody just died and somebody laughs. You know, that might be kind of inappropriate. Uh, unless it's somebody who's really enlightened and is understanding what's going on. <laughs> um, I'm manic behavior. Exactly. So overexcitability. It could be just something as simple as somebody partying a lot, and they're overexcitable. You know, they don't have to be into the psychotic phase of it. OK, excellent. Uh, what's the taste of the heart? Bitter? Mm -hmm. And a little bit of bitter helps the heart, right? It cleanses the blood. And too much bitter can be a problem, can dry the blood. And a bitter taste in the morning in the mouth is a sign of heat in the heart. So we're going to start to get to this. So let's, let's look at Now we remember what blood does, right? We just reviewed that. Blood, oh, we're writing so quickly here. It's all in your books. Blood moistens, nourishes, and warms, OK? And the heart is very much an organ of blood, is it not? It's got to be. It's pumping blood constantly in and out. It's the, it's the organ that circulates it. And that's one of the major functions of the heart, is it not? Is to circulate blood. OK. So if we have heart blood deficiency, what do you think you might have without even looking? Blindness and coldness. Palpitations. OK, so palpitations. We're to, OK, so not enough blood moving through veins. heart blood deficiency. Let's put them together. Palpitations, absolutely. Major sign of heart involvement. Anxiety, very, very much. You can have anxiety with heart blood deficiency. You can also have it with heat in the heart or heart yin deficiency. So I'm sorry? Joylessness. Joylessness, exactly. A lack of joy in one's life. Very good. Very good. It can absolutely affect your sleep, definitely. And this person, it could be, um, will, will wake up, and it's hard to go back to sleep. That's blood deficiency, <laughs> is that you wake up and it's hard to go back to sleep. Bless you. Excellent. This person also might be easily startled and easily overwhelmed, <coughs> especially if we're talking about heart blood, because the, bl the heart circulates the blood. So it affects the overall um, um, availability of blood. So somebody who's easily startled or overwhelmed could be heart blood deficient. Now, are we going to have some other typical blood deficient signs? Yeah. yeah. Blurry vision. Yeah. Dizziness. Pale tongue. Pale tongue. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pale face. You know, the heart opens to the tongue, right? Mm -hmm. So the tongue tends to be thin, especially toward the tip. Mm -hmm. Especially toward the tip where the heart area rules. 
and um, pale. And the heart gives the sheen to the cheeks, heart, blood, and chin. So that can be paler. And there's actually an internal meridian that goes from the heart up to the eyes. So that helps with the dizziness, I mean the blurry vision. <laughs>